In this tutorial we're trying to achieve a really nice golden look so we're trying to isolate those skin tones, isolate the oranges and the reds and the yellows and create an overall really golden look which is uh, a wee bit brown and underexposed, quite moody. So if we get over to Instagram I'll show you guys his work. So over here we have who is Benjamin so you guys can go give him a follow down in the description i'll put all those links down there for you guys so if we come down and we just talk about his style for a bit so as i said uh plenty of gold tones we're trying to really get those oranges and yellows to pop and there's obviously a bit of teals to the blues and highlights especially in this image you can really see those teals and the highlights up there and down there and then obviously those really warm shadows and as for the fade we need a decent amount in the shadows so those blacks aren't too harsh so maybe this this one might show it a bit so a slight fade in there and then if we got find a brighter image you can see that there's a fade to the highlights as well so this is straight into the sun you can see those highlights have been brought down in the curves so if we come down we'll see the image we're going to be working with this one right here so i've actually got the settings for this one and the camera and lens so the camera was a nikon d850 uh, and then the sigma 24 millimeter 1.4 art and the as for the settings that it was shot on we've got iso 60 so no need for any high isos because it's taken during the day 24 millimeters obviously f 2.8 so a little bit of separation from the background and a nice sharp image and then he's nicely placed the subject right into in, on the intersection of all the leading lines and then shutter speed 1 over 1250 so plenty fast for a sharp image and then just exposing the image correctly with that so as you can see awesome awesome work guys links down in the description and i also want to show you guys his youtube channel so he's just launched it i recommend you guys go over and check it out so if we click on it here and if we click on one of his videos here we've got behind the scenes and he said he'll be posting a few editing tutorials himself so here we have one of his videos and if we come down to his description you can see that he also um, offers his presets over on his website so let's click over there go to shop and I'll also be linking these down in the description for you guys so come over here check out if you like uh, the before and afters and then it also says exactly what is offered for you guys so I'll be linking these down in the description below as well so if you like this style and you want a bunch of presets in this style come check them out and if we just go back to his Instagram, yeah, let's get into Lightroom, try to achieve something like this. Okay, so here's a raw unedited image that he sent me and a JPEG of that edit that he also sent me. Okay, so first thing, I'll just bump up the exposure. The exposure actually wasn't too bad at the beginning, but we want to change a few things. So let's bump it up. Let's uh, really bring down the highlights. We want to... Um, make it quite moody and underexposed so let's bring them down bring the whites down we'll also do that uh, definitely shadows and a bit of blacks we weren't too bad at the start but we'll just do some changes here um, just going to do these quite roughly because I know I'm going to do an S curve in um, this section and that's going to change quite a bit of the exposure here so I know I want a lot of shadows say down here in the bottom right here so they, they are all shadows so I know I'm going to be doing something like this and we have quite a bit of flatness to the highlights so we're going to be doing something like that I know and we have over here the really dark areas you can see there's a fade in them at the moment they're very black and harsh and if you add in a fade that's sort of what happens so i can see a subtle amount of that and that was just an over exaggerated example 
but I'll do it subtly because I can see there is a bit of a lift to those blacks and I'll do that with the curve so I'll do that now and then I'll just try to explain again what I did with the curves Okay, so that's the curves done and as I said before I brought up the black point for that bit of fade in the blacks there so see what that's doing and I know to do that by just looking over at this image I can see that's what that's what has been done and to bring this point out to the right just means there's quite a bit of fade there so if I bring it back you can see there's sort of a gradual lift to that but when you bring it across it's um, quite flat, uh, hard to describe. Um, this point down because we've got all these shadows there and then slightly bringing down the midpoint here because I'm trying to match up the brightness so if I just see what this area is affecting it's really affecting the light that's kind of around her, all this area and I was just trying to match that up with over here so if I have it in the middle I just I just think it's really bright back here we're not finished completely with our exposures yet but I think this needs to come down and we sort of get a flatter look in the midtones and then again in the whites there so I think that also adds to the moody look that he tries to achieve is creating a flatness to those brighter areas so it dims the pop of the image creating a moodier feel um, clarity i'm just going to bring down just slightly it is a really smooth looking image no grain either so very smooth vibrance we'll bring down the saturation want want to pop those skin tones um and the yellows so i'm going to try that um because vibrance pops uh, mid tones and highlights mostly. Um, let's maybe drop our whites even more, keeping it nice and flat. Okay, um, colors now. I'll do this right now um, the quickest way we can get really close to the style is this really upping the warmth or the temperature so as you can see really big difference there before before warmth after and as you can see we're not quite done with our colors this won't work on every image we don't have the blues back there or, or the teals and we just don't have that extra goldness in the sh uh, blacks there so we need to add more of that in and I'm gonna do that now with split toning so this is a really important step because we're gonna add some gold tones into the blacks because you can't add tones in with the HSL so we need to add them in either with curves or split toning but in this example split toning so let's add a nice orange or almost a yellow into uh, the shadows here. Okay, and let's do the highlights. So we want to balance that out with a nice teal. At the moment, it's almost a purple or dark blue. We want a nice teal back there. So let's choose. about there saturation we'll go about there okay our image looks quite green at the moment we'll fix that um, because if we come down to calibration so uh, we're quite green let's move this towards the left a bit and what's that that's gonna do is move the dark blues to more of a teal and the greens to more of a purple so you can see what that's doing go all the way across you get really orange and teal 
uh, red and teal but we just want a subtle effect and that's going to shift the greens or these yellows to just more of a red it, it definitely puts more purple in or whatever color you call this magenta or and then that's going to change those greens to a nice purple purple's quite close to orange so kinda so I think that helps us get those tones just leave it about there and then let's shift the green primary across as well and that's gonna add kinda even more purples in but we'll do it a subtle amount I think that looks really good so there's before and after calibration getting some pretty nice skin tones there now um, let's go back up and then we just got to fine-tune all these colors and uh, everything in HSL so the first thing to deal with working with um, trying to get this gold look to your image is very commonly you just want to take all the other colors out so if we take out green let's take out aquas let's take out blues take out purples take out magenta so what that's going to do is um, isolate the yellow oranges and reds and then that's gonna just leave us with gold colors and then where these colors were will be filled in by a bit of split toning from the shadows so they'll have a bit of warmth in there and yeah um, a bit of change they'll have um, these colors in them so yeah it won't be completely gray in these areas they'll have warmth in there from temperature split toning and then that just gives an overall really nice gold image um, let's mess with these a bit so yellows very important let's bring them down just a bit to match it up oranges um, okay I think we look good there up to hues now we'll just fine-tune the tones I think we are looking still a little too yellow especially in her skin let's shift the oranges towards red a little bit I think that helps a lot uh, let's try adding in a bit more of that saturation actually to all of the colors let's add a bit in maybe took a bit too much out let's go back to about 20 there um, uh, we're about good where we were with these okay we're looking good let's go have a look at luminance so this is the brightness of colors I think we just want our skin tones to glow a bit especially in such a moody look just get our subject skin to have a nice glow about it because it is really dark anyway usually you don't want to bring up the luminance of orange tones or red tones because you want that nice deep look to your skin tones but we've already got that because we've got such a dark moody style with a lot of rich tones anyway so we'll roll with that and yeah we're getting really really close now um, split turning so an important thing with split turning is to play around with the balance so if I go this way this is adding shadows into the entire image if I go this way it's putting highlights in the entire image and sometimes you just want to shift it a wee just a little bit each way so if you got not enough blues say um, say I think we've got a lot of blues maybe a bit too many blues um, in the image so if we just shift this a little bit this way it's just going to push a bit more of those shadows into the image and it will give it a bit warmer I think that looks better so that's before after 
just very subtle but i think we just had too much teals up here especially okay um i think we're about done with uh, hsl so and also an important thing to this style I'd, i saw it in other images it's not very obvious in this image is that we need to shift the greens across to over this side because otherwise our greens will get really really warm and we want them to almost look a natural green amongst the um, really warm tones we've really desaturated them but even if you bring the saturation down to zero there will still be green tones in them slightly so we just want those greens to um, be a bit more natural and you have to since we've got such a warm image we need these greens to almost be on the blue side and then that will bring them back to about a normal tone in the image so okay i think we're good okay um one thing you can see is the sky is way different we need to bring down the exposure of it so we'll grab a filter and i've already placed them for this tutorial and what i want to do is just bring down the exposure and that's just we're just doing this to bring out detail and drama into the image um maybe we could bring down the shadows maybe some whites for a little bit as i think we're getting a bit too dark in the brightest area a bit let's bring up the whites a touch and then um, if we look a little too warm up there we can shift the temperature okay that looks pretty good there and then i just want to filter on her face because it just looks a little too dark we need to bring out the features in her face because that's the main subject let's just up the shadows 20. usually i'd say bring up the exposure but then you'll probably have to bring up contrast and we just want to keep it nice and soft we want the contrast nice and soft we don't want to be adding in harshness whites into the image because we want to keep it nice and soft and moody which has lots of shadows and not too many highlights or whites um yeah and then that's about it guys i'm pretty happy with that one looks really similar i'll just leave it there keep this tutorial nice and short um yeah so to recap the keys were the the um lifting up the black point here so just you got to keep looking out for that fade in the black so this is what they normally look like and that's just really harsh and it can look very digital and then you might not even notice the image has a fade but that just creates a nice texture or i don't know what you want to call it but a nice effect to the image same with the down and the highlights and then really getting the moody look by bringing down the shadows bringing down the highlights bringing down the whites and yeah i'll just leave it there guys um a good amount of warmth in the shadows there to really create those green gold tones and then you got to take out all the other ones so if i just show you if i take out the warmth or the temperature I added in you can see uh yeah it is quite gray there and that's how you just isolate the really gold tones by dropping all these and not these ones here and then when you add and have the temperature there still sort of just fills in all the colors there so yeah i'll probably just leave it there guys thanks for watching i'll catch you guys in the next one comment down below who you guys want to see and check out his presets i'll be putting a link down in the description so and comment who you guys want to see because i go through all the comments reach out to them on instagram ask them to send in a photo and then do a tutorial on them so really helps me if you do that and yeah if you guys want to check out my products you can as well over at my website just really really awesome um reviews there so go check them out if you're interested guys uh video LUTs as well i only do photo stuff here but on my website you'll be able to see the LUTs and video content 
I have over there for you guys. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Catch ya in the next one. Cheers.